Right now, everybody looking over there. there apparently, there's a, there's a Charles Oakley over there, Mike. Fight in the, in the stands. As Charles Oakley is involved in something. They need security in a big way. Security is there. Oakley now being taken off. And this is an ugly thing to see about a guy who played here for over 10 years, a terrific player. Oakley and the Nick organization have not seen eye to eye recently. Oakley's been very critical about them. Nick organization not happy with that. So it hasn't been a good relationship over the last several years. You hear some fans chanting Oakley. He was a beloved player. But all the players were distracted by it. the officials tried to have the game keep going, but it, it was happening in the second row. You see New York City police there at security and Oakley pushing off there, obviously upset at something. Damn it, boy. I am aka bands is this support this TV. Thanks for tuning in. Now, if you see in the video at the beginning, security was scaring Charles Oakley out of the Madison Square Garden Arena. Okay, back last year, um Charles Oakley said some very mean words towards James Dolan saying that he was a terrible owner and talking a lot of trash about him. Some reports say it even threatened him. But if you don't know who James Dolan is, he is the owner of the New York Knicks and a lot of guys don't like him. The media say he's the worst owner ever. Fans say he's a bad owner, you know. But hey, to each his own, right? Okay, Charles Oakley was at the game. He said since last year, this is his second game. He had us 10, and the first time he was at a game, security hovered him and told him not to go nowhere, stay seated, don't move around, don't do nothing. Okay, this game, they tried to do the same thing. And by the way, he bought the ticket with his own money. Okay. They hovered around him. As you can see in the video, they were trying to put their hands on him. He pushed them off, and they ended up carrying him out of the building. He got arrested. You know, he was released. He went to New York Radio today and apologized to the fans. He said he never said anything to James Dolan, so it wasn't no reason for them to be all up on him like that. But, you know, the NBA has had an uproar, man. You know, Michael Jordan has spoke on it. They called a check on him. Um, even um, Phil Jackson checked on him. Um, Doc Rivers said he wanted to run over there and help him, but there wasn't nothing he could do about it because the Knicks were playing the Clippers at the time. You know, a lot of people just don't like what happened to him. Um, undisputed on Fox, you know, Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. They they took his side and basically said that um you know James Dolan is not a good owner and um Shannon Sharp said he been knowing him twenty years and he said that he believed Oakley when he said he didn't say nothing to James Dolan you know um it's unfortunate Dwayne Wade said that um nobody is immune this can happen to anybody make sure you stay awoke so you know I was shocked to see this go on especially with Oakley all he don't gave to the Knicks and Charles Oakley ain't no punk so you can see in the video he was not going down without a fight but this is support this tv thanks for tuning in i'm out where the knicks look incredibly bad is the last sentence of the statement that they issued in which they say he was a great nick you know essentially i'm paraphrasing here because i don't have the quote in front of me we hope he receives the help he needs that was a really 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 low blow it was classless on the part of the Knicks, and that's what made you lean towards the New York Knicks being at fault here.